Okay, um, so just I'm going to just focus on this video on my favorite clearing tools. Of course, there are many more. Okay, so whatever arises, um, my 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 thing is to transcend the world. Uh, I wanted to actually shoot a video on this. What do I mean by transcending? Transcending means disappearing anything that seems to arise, especially anything that's heavy or dark or um, or negative. Um, uh, there's not so much of an incentive to clear like love or um, or joy or freedom, but uh, you know, like a, a, a thought or um, or a feeling or fear or guilt or um, uh, uh, an identified thought. So I want to like clear it until that doesn't return or as, at least uh, disappears for the time being. So my three favorite tools, I'll just give a, a and then I'll run through them. Uh, one of them is the observer or the witnesser or you, some people might call it consciousness or awareness. Um, the second tool is um, uh, uh, feeling, feeling the feelings or letting go or, or allowing. And I'll run through that in greater depth. And the third one uh, is just my favorite course lesson, uh, which I really like because for me, it just feels like transcending. God did not create it, it is not real, or I cancel my belief in whatever I'm an infinite being subject only to what I hold in my ego mind, um, meaning that actually there is no such thing as thought. Uh, there is no such thing as feelings or as bodies or as this world. Um, it's all not real. You know, the, I mean, I, I, I won't go into it in too much depth. So I want to disappear it until that which I'm identifying with dissolves completely and so no longer exists. Uh, that is actually that can you can do that uh, if you um, so, uh, well, I, well, the ego can't do that. Let's say that's a miracle. Um, and, uh, okay, so the first one, yes. Well, especially for feelings or energies, I would say feel the feelings. If there's a heavy fear or guilt, stop, uh, stop, that's one of my first ones I'll go to. I can use all of them, but is um, stop labeling and making a story about the fear or the guilt, whatever it is. And just let it be here. Don't try and resist it or push it away or eat an ice cream or, or do something addictive. Just let it be here in silence. And, and every time a thought wants to make a story or a label about it, just uh, let that go and just be. And as, you, as there is an allowing of it without labeling of thoughts, and if the thought arises, this, this identify with the thought and you try and get that to instantaneous uh, disidentification. So uh, then allow it it'll, it'll, just by allowing it to be there without trying to resist or think on it it will start to dissipate now that can happen sometimes very quickly and sometimes very slowly but just do it until it passes so that's um that's one of the tools the second one is um uh, the observer i mean it's more like an intuitive when i do the observer um uh, it's more like something guides one just uh, be the witnesser so, uh, but it can be done with anything, with a feeling, with a thought, with a whole situation. Let's, uh, let's try and use it. So, uh, like an emotion or an energy or an illness. Okay, there's exhaustion or guilt or pain. Then it's like, uh, okay, but is there an observing of this? Is there a witnesser of it? And, uh, and uh, it's like praying for a miracle. And then suddenly it's like, there's witnessing of the pain or the fear of the exhaustion. And then it's, often it will just collapse and disappear. It's like the identification creates the experience and in pure witnessing or observing, it's like the illusion just dissolves like it was never there. So you can go from like chronic exhaustion and tiredness to absolute bliss and joy and freedom as if that, that had never. And then sometimes it's more a, a weak observing. So it's like, oh, I'm not in, I'm not exhausted or in fear or guilt. I, I, there's like a seeing of it, but it seems like the guilt or the fear is a, ha, there's some distance and it, it's there, but it's not affecting you. So that's still equally good, whichever happens, complete dis dissolution or just witnessing it without it affecting you. And then usually it dissolves, like something that's not given identification just dissolves away into nothingness. The observer can be very, very profound, almost like an enlightening experience. So, um, and uh, and then the last one, 
Yes, the last, I mean, I like this uh, with certain types of thoughts that keep recurring in the mind um, is uh, counseling the belief or God did not create it. Uh, let me give an example. Sometimes, you know, um, I can do the observer, but it seems to, I mean, often I won't do the observer. It's just a repetitive thought or a belief system. It's like, that will work. Okay, there's a thought in my head. I want an ice cream. Let's say there's a thought. I want an ice cream now. Okay, well, let's go to the observer. And then that thought doesn't exist. But then it might come back. It seems like the observer gets lost. And then the thought goes, no, I actually do want an ice cream. <laughs> okay, go back to the observer. So, um, so heavy belief systems seem, I don't usually use the observer. I'll use, um, I'll do heavy, what I call heavy prayer. Okay, God did not create ice cream, they're not real. God did not create my craving for ice cream, and therefore it is not real. God did not create ice creams, it is not real. I cancel my belief in my craving and addiction for ice cream and an infinite being subject only to one. Like that heavy, because as a hypnotherapist, I know that if you've got a very strong belief system, you have to equally undo it. Like if you've been like a, a, a mad uh, ice cream addict, like just saying God did not create it, it's not real once, and then hoping for it might happen. Uh, but in my experience, you know, some intense, because the ego is an addiction, so one has to be equally ferocious in undoing those belief systems. So I'll use um, cancelling a thing. So those are my three primary ones. Any course lesson can be used. Um, sometimes um, I'll use one more than the other, like the observing more or the cancelling more or the feeling the feelings um, uh, more. So, yeah, okay, uh, that's a summary on the transcending tools I use. And